The GVSU baseball team traveled to Wayne State this weekend to compete in back-to-back -back doubleheaders against the Warriors. Joining us now to talk about those games is head coach Jamie Detillion and coach open up GLIAC play this weekend. Get used to a more of a series type of feel. How did things feel this first weekend? Uh, well, we went one and three against Wayne State. Um, they were very well pitched, very well coached. Um, they outplayed us. So plain and simple, we got beat three out of four. That was, uh, you know, a tough way to start our season. But it's early in our season. Um, we practiced zero times outside on our field and we're 19 games into our schedule so that makes it a little challenging but uh, we got to take our best step forward and and uh, you know continue to grind and work on some stuff and, and get better as you said we're obviously not in florida anymore i can't really practice outside so much what's the difference when you come from those warmer weather games back to the cold weather like this uh, well you, you know like i said just being able to get outside and practice on our, on our field um, and get some you know game speed reps is really a big deal right now um, you know, we do our best. We got some great facilities at Grand Valley, so we do our best with what we have. Uh, the reality is it's not, a, you know, an actual a game field with some game setting. So that's one thing that we try to simulate as best as we can, but um, it's certainly something that, that we need uh, quite a bit of work on right now. Wayne State has some really good, talented pitchers you talked about in that opening game. They really threw one of their best at you. Yeah, he threw really well. I think he had eight strikeouts, three walks, and like four hits. So um, he really uh, he really threw well. Uh, you know, to go out and face a guy like that the first game back, and we, we had a 12-day layoff since Florida. Um, and again, not being able to practice outside to get some game speed reps um, on a baseball field, you know, presents a little bit of a loop, but, but we got to get better. We, we will, and we'll grind. What are some of the things you can do to simulate that real game speed when you're not outside like that? Well, you can do a lot of scrimmaging. We can do a lot of inner squad. We can do a lot of stuff on a field. We can present a lot of scenarios, put, you know, put different outs and situations and stuff on the field and, and give our guys a, a real feel for it on our field. You're also trying to work with that lineup quite a bit, a little bit. I know you've had some injuries that have caused some havoc, but this weekend, did you find anything out about your lineup? What did you like from your team? Well, I, I still think we have some guys that compete. I think if you look into day two of the series, you know, looking at how we ended game, uh, you know, game three, we had a comeback, you know, win, and that was good to see how well we competed uh, because we had been down the first two games and really going into that, that last inning of the third game, we'd been down the entire weekend. So um, that was good to see. There was some resiliency, some, some battle there. And then so you erupt for those runs late, and then Brendan Nearing comes up with a big save at the back end of your bullpen. To see your bullpen step up like that had to be big for you guys as well. Yeah, and Brendan's thrown great all year long, so that was good to see him step in and, and just put the nail in the coffin. And then it seemed like you guys had the offense rolling right again. You go into that fourth game, you score five runs in the top of the first. What was the key to that hot start? Well, uh, you know, first of all, there's quite a few walks. There's a, a tighter strike zone from an umpire. Um, there are actually 14, 15 walks in the game. So, you know, that, that just tells you that we got to adjust to that. That it is what it is with, with the strike zone, but we've got to adjust to that. But, you know, early on, our hitters did a good job of, of seeing the strike zone. We, I think we only had one or two hits in that inning uh, where we scored five runs. So you've been here for a while now, but a lot of your players are new to this GLIAC system. Now, usually it's a Friday to Saturday, Sunday situation because of weather got moved back to a couple of double headers in a row. When you have these big GLIAC games, four jammed within two days, how do you kind of get that bullpen situated? How do you manage those guys to know, hey, you don't have to give it all right now. We might need you again tomorrow. Sure. Well, it definitely changes things because a lot of times you can bring guys back Friday to a Sunday. You can bring Friday to Sunday guys back. Uh, it's a little more challenging for guys that don't bounce back as well out of your bullpen going Saturday, Sunday. So uh, little things like that do, do make a difference. Um, you know, it's something that we got to deal with. We can't control Mother Nature. Um, it's something that we got to deal with. But um, just little things like that do, do play into the strategy. Guys that had big years like last year, like Jake Leeson, like Ryan Blake Jones, how much are you relying on them right now to kind of get that offense re-sparked? Well, we got to get everybody going, including those two guys. Um, they had a couple, you know, a couple of flashes this weekend. Uh, we need to get everybody going consistently. And, and again, I think getting outside on our field, getting reps on field so the guys can track the, the baseball. Um, sometimes when you're in a batting cage, that, that makes it difficult. Um, you, can, you can take all the swings and work on the skills, uh, but it's really tough to put those skills into a game setting. So um, I think getting out on our field and, and getting some swings, it happens every year about this time. Uh, we just need to get a lot of reps in on our field and, and you know, get back to normal. That probably helps defensively as well, right, to get some of those true hops off the grass. Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and again, we got a great facility with the turf. Uh, sometimes maybe we're, uh, we're a little too spoiled because we're getting a true hop every single time, and you know, that's not how it goes on a, on, a base, on a natural surface baseball field. All right, well, one weekend in the book for the GLIAC. As we look forward now to this weekend, what can we expect? Well, Saginaw Valley, just can't, they're coming off of a 3-1 you know, a, a series out of, uh, or with Davenport, so they played pretty well. Um, so uh, we're going to have our hands full. Uh, obviously, the Saginaw Valley series is always a little extra with the Battle of the Valleys and everything, but they've been a really good team for the last few years as well. Yeah, well, and they got a new coach this year too. So he was at Central Michigan last year, and and I got to I got to imagine they're going to be pretty well coached. And again, just by their start, you know, going three and one against a, pr a pretty good Davenport this uh, this past weekend. Uh, like I said, we're going to have our hands full. This GLIAC always tests you week in and week out, coach. One weekend in the books, you got one win out of it. Let's go get some more. Good luck this week. Yeah, I appreciate it.
When we return, we'll take a look at the GVSU Pro Day right here on the Grand Valley State Sports Report.